Uh, what's up everybody, Crypto Coding here, welcome back to another game development video. In this video you guys are going to be learning about collectible objects. So we went to the collectible objects, so when this thing right here got destroyed, okay. So we just basically create another scene called enemy collectible. So enemy collectible is this, okay. So if you go here, it's nothing special with an area 2D. So what you're gonna do, step one, is create this thing right here. This is pretty simple if you just watch my videos. Uh, it's pretty simple creating these things up. And after that, you got yourself this uh, enemy collectible object. So now, what we're gonna be doing is c actually adding this collectible object to the enemy scene itself. So you'll just click on this button and then search for enemy collectible. As you can see, we created another one. For now, I don't need one. Just stay there. To click this thing off. We don't want this right now. So what we'll be doing is, let's look at the enemy here. So we will go down a bit. So as you can see, we have on sword enemy down. Okay, basically what is, is just a basic a signal that is uh, being done. Okay. So I'm just finding, wait a second, oh there we go, I just forgot where the heck I put that thing down. So basically what is happening, we'll be adding this thing to the sword and you'll say yes, why we are adding this to the sword instead of the another stuff, that makes sense. The reason is, I want to just like give in to this, I mean no, into this. Uh, there will be more, but just, I just want to, the thing to be down quickly. So just gonna do it quickly okay so basically what we, we are doing here is adding a signal called enemy down if you don't know what is the signal a signal is basically a communication between two objects so there's two things one is the emitter and another was in the receiver so emitter just emits the signal and receiver receives it and depends on what the heck going on for the, in this case this thing is the emitter so what we're saying is uh, or a receiver wait a second Ooh, no it's the it's both it's both okay a a node can be both an emitter and also a receiver so what what we start start by we just writing the name called signal with saying enemy down then we have the enemy collectible we just preloading the scene so I created a collectible uh, uh, what a folder here and saying enemy collectible.tscn. Okay, next we have a this thing right here to call the function on sword body entered. So, what the heck is going on here? So, it's basically saying that we are getting what the heck this body is. So what are we saying? We are saying that collision equals to body dot has minute. So if body dot has minute enemy, then we know that the sword collided with the enemy because it's in the sword. So if collision, then we just saying it's true. This will return a true. So true or false depending it has any. So if it ha has any, so it's an enemy, then we'll say emit signal that an enemy is down. Okay, enemy is down. Now what we are doing is just saying that on on we sword down on how do you get this you get this by if i remember correctly i just forgot where the heck i put that thing down ah <laughs> okay wait just wait a second oh there you go so it's in the sword of course it will be in the sword so as you can see under it we have sword.gd so enemy down says old sword.gd we'll click on this click on connect click on the itself we will be connecting to itself so it will you will get this so what we are doing here we are saying that enemy collectible that instancing and then we are setting the position to that position okay then we're just adding this nothing else just creating a new instanceable object now enemy collectible is yes of course it's collectible uh but we didn't made any so if you want to actually go ahead and really make this as the enemy collectible you're just staying there it's doing nothing you can watch my uh collectible enemy i think collectible object scene in the platformer series okay so you can do that that will be really really appreciated so this is i'm just connecting this object so remember so let's recap here so we have the signal 
we are just, uh, saying an enemy collectible equals to preload we're preloading this thing with the scene then we're saying emitting so this is basically emitting so if enemy down for example had multiple um parameters what it will do so so for example enemy down we can say which enemy down and the what to do or something so this is not gonna work so if it, if you have like multiple it's just basically a uh, what <clears throat> a function okay just like this it has functions so as you can see this so basically it's a function now what do you have to do you have to uh, you have to say this so say enemy here we have to provide enemy um yeah what to do is this correct please yes <laughs> what to do okay and when the emitting signal this emitting signal this what we'll do it just press comma and then put the enemy string so enemy so for example blah and what to do string blah, blah. so okay so this is basically it so uh so <clears throat> enemy name as uh, what signal name with the parameters goes over here if it has infinite parameters you have to give infinite here and then same for infinite image signaling so hope that answers your main questions and we'll be seeing you in the next video thank you guys so much for watching